This is one of the very first calculators with square root, square, and reciprocal that you could get that uh, was affordable. In the early 70s, I remember being a kid of 13 or so and getting a flyer for this, and um, a flyer in the mail, and I thought it was like the neatest thing, especially since I was uh, just entering into high school. Um, but it was expensive. It was like $120, $130. And uh, what I ended up doing was um, asking my father if I could buy 100 shares of uh, Texas Instruments stock. And uh, that's what I did because uh, I just had a feeling that, uh, you know, this was going to be a hot item. And sure enough, in the course of one week, the stock went up, and I sold it, and it turned out to be, after commissions, about $130, the exact price of the calculator. So I turned around and ordered the calculator, and that was kind of a milestone for me, because not only did it uh, introduce me into investing in my first uh, bit of stock ownership and profit, but then uh, it also put me into the world of calculators and computers, which I have made a very successful career of. So this is it. And what I have done is um, opened it up after 35 years. I found it in a trunk. And um, this is what it looks like inside. See if I can get a better angle here. Oh my, I've just voided the warranty. Imagine that. So that's the board. And uh, this is the back side. Now, what I've done is, uh, of course, I already pulled the screws out, took the back off, and uh, pulled out some very crusty old batteries that had uh, sulfated all over the place. And I just popped in some AA cells to take their place of the old rechargeables. And uh, now we'll see if uh, this thing works. So here goes, 35 years after the last time I can remember my dad using it, because I gave it to him after I had graduated up to more elaborate Hewlett-Packard scientific calculators. So let's see what this will do. All kinds of fun stuff on the back here. Let's see if we can read that. And of course, made in the good old USA, in Dallas, Texas. Okay. Let's see. All right, we've got a zero. That's good. Let's try something here. Three reciprocal. And we've got digits. It works. That's a good thing. Let's see. Clear. Square root of four. Well, it still does the math correct. That's good. Very good. Oh yeah, and this was one of like the first calculators with an exponent that was affordable besides the Hewlett Packards of the time. So you could do incredibly large numbers. Like let's square that, square it again, and we get uh, quite the exponent. It's great. It works. So I'll be using it.